Bree Michelot called Child Protective Services a hundred times. A hundred times. Because her little boy kept coming home bruised and beaten when he visited his dad's. A hundred times. And then there was this one last time, and it was a biggie. It was an emergency order seeking full custody. Emergency to the Department of Child Protection in New Jersey. Emergency. He can't go to his dad's tomorrow at 9 a.m. It can't go on. It can't. And the judge said, no. And so Bree loaded that little boy into the car and she took that little boy to his dad's. And nine hours later, that little boy, Corey Mitchell, was dead. And there's the result right there. His dad's mugshot, charged with murder. How does this happen? How does this happen? Brie Michello is live with me now. Brie, I am so incredibly sorry that we are meeting under these circumstances. It is, it's unbelievable that this can happen in this day and age. Why, after a hundred calls and an emergency desperate plea, were you denied the opportunity to keep your child alive? Um, I don't know if it was incompetence on um, DCPMP side or um, they just didn't believe me, but I collected evidence. Um, there was a video of it happening. So I, I honestly do not know how it was not clear as day that he was being abused. It makes no sense to me. And um, I don't think it ever will. I can't show the video right now because it hasn't been released, but I'm going to describe it for our viewers. It's at a gym where the allegations are and the video purports to show uh, his dad putting him on a treadmill and continuously upping the speed, even though Corey can't keep up and keeps falling off the back. Um, He's grabbed by his shirt and put back on the moving treadmill. He struggles constantly to gain his footing. At one point, uh, his father, Christopher Gregor, appears to bite the top of his head. Even despite all of this, the court said this. They do not find that Corey is in danger of imminent and irreparable harm. Therefore, the court does not find a temporary modification of the party's custody and parenting time arrangement appropriate at this time. This was the day before Corey died. And then after Corey died, the judge said, the video was viewed by the court, really speaks for itself in illustrating that this defendant did abuse this child. I think when you watch the video, it is fair to say that anyone who would do this to a child does pose a significant risk to the community. Is that the same judge or is that a different judge based on now the, the murder allegation? Um, it was two different judges. Have they spoken? Has there been any consensus among law enforcement and authorities that they completely failed you and that because of that, your beautiful little six-year-old boy, Corey, is no longer with us? Um, no one's going to admit that they thought the abuse was going on before because that um, just shows they were wrong. Um, but now that he passed away, all of a sudden, everyone is like, how didn't we know? You did know you were just um, ignorant, I guess you can say. Can I ask you, Bree, as the litigation moves forward in Corey's father's murder case, are you also launching civil litigation against the authorities who ignored your 100 different calls and attempts to keep that child away from him? Uh, absolutely. They need to be held account accountable. Um, this happens too often. I've heard other stories from other parents of the same thing and something has to give, something has to change. I don't know why this is allowed to happen. It's, it's unfathomable to us as well. And I, I hope you'll keep us abreast of your efforts to find justice, not only for yourself, but also against the person who is alleged to have done this horrific thing um, to his, his own flesh and blood, his own baby boy. Um, Brie, again, I'm sorry we're speaking under these circumstances and I wish you all the strength in the world as you move forward. Thank you so much, I appreciate it.
Breen Michelo joining us live, I would like to just show some pictures of, of Corey, six years old and so precious. So many more people should have protected that little boy and did not do it. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.